we were, at, we were at that conference, Justin and I were at that conference in Miami, and this guy asked a question on the insurance panel. He was like, you know, how, how are you guys able to uh, recruit people? Like, what's the commission versus uh, salary and like how big a salary in order to get people to come in and like we were sitting there talking to these guys afterwards that were on the panel and we were just telling them like maybe the reason why you can't get people or you need to pay them a big salary is because nobody in your business is doing anything. No one's yeah. having any success. I was like maybe you should just go out there and have some success yeah. and then tell that story and then people will literally be willing to pay you to yeah. come work with you. Not you pay them some big salary and then slowly transition it to more commission. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it, or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry, cause it's time for the daily bread. People do not come across this type of group of people ever in their life, once in a lifetime. So, Fridays are just chaotic for me, um, and for a whole lot of reasons, but you know, I usually travel Monday through Thursday, and so Fridays being the only day that I'm home, it's also the only day I'm in the office, and yeah, you know, I kind of wear two or three hats within our company. Number one, I'm the national coordinator, so I'm, I'm out selling. Like, I sell Monday through Thursday, so it's the one day that I'm actually in the office to do the other side of what I do, which is help lead and train um, all of our coordinators across the country and then all the other stuff on the corporate side of kind of moving our business forward. Um, but then, you know, there's also the element of, you know, I'm home, so I have the family side. Um, that's a that's a pull on Fridays and then I have just like all the other stuff that like a normal human being does when they <laughs> are living where they actually live seven days a week I'm having to really get all done in in one day and so like today I mean I had a meeting this morning at 8 o'clock a coffee meeting I had a meeting from 9 to 11 a meeting right at 11 a meeting at 11 30 which the guy didn't show up which is frustrating um, and so I just was waiting around and then now I'm like doing stuff like I got to go get my car washed because we got all these new agents coming into town um, that we're training all weekend and I got to pick some of them up and that kind of stuff. So I'm going to get that done, quickly get some lunch and I've got some actual like planning stuff I got to do. Then I've got a dear, dear friend of mine coming into the office uh, from Charleston, um, incredible entrepreneur and just person. Um, we're going to record a podcast with her Then I'm going to go spend some time with her. Then I got to rush back to my house to be able to spend some time with my family before we start this, you know, what we call our boot camp training with all of our new agents, which is tonight, all day tomorrow, all day Sunday. Um, so it's just crazy. It's all good, but it's just chaotic. Um, I, I kind of feel like I thrive in, in chaos, um, but when it's so many different directions, it can get a little, uh, I wouldn't say stressful, but it can get a little, um, the word I'm looking for. It's a little bit crazy. <laughs> Trying to record a podcast. All right. What's up, everybody? This is the Breadwinner Podcast, and I'm your host, Tyler Harris. Glad to have you here today. I am also glad to have a special guest on the podcast today, and she's actually here in the studio with me live, which is always fun to do most of these um, remotely, but when I can have someone here, it's even better. Um, and I'm extremely excited for you guys to get to know uh, Miss Wendy Dieterlin, one of my favorite human beings on this planet. We've known each other for how long? Eight years? Nine years? Eight or nine years. Probably longer than I've known anyone except my parents. <laughs> But um, I've just enjoyed getting to know her over the, over the last few years, but I've always had an insane amount of respect for the business person that she is. Um, and we're going to get into some of that because that's really, you know, this is a, a business podcast. And so we're going to get into a lot of that, but she's an entrepreneur, 
um, has owned multiple businesses and really very varying businesses, kind of the whole spectrum. Uh, so she'll talk a little bit about that, including uh, her most recent recent uh, venture. Uh, but she also does the same thing that I do. So we share uh, the same career path, and that's one of the things that she's doing currently. Um, so that's always good when you have someone that you know and um, enjoy being around that's doing what you're doing to be able to have someone to kind of bounce off of <clears throat> ideas and frustrations and successes and everything in between. You know, I... I think that I might have a little different mindset than some people about um, success in business as far as, you know, a lot of people think you have to be passionate, extremely passionate mm. about something to be successful. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing if things line up and, it, and you have something that you're just, you know, have a burning desire every day to do. Mm-hmm. Um, what I think breeds success is being passionate about being the best at whatever you're doing. Mm. You know, I can't say that I was passionate about mortgages. I didn't get up, you know, with a burning desire to go Mm -hmm. write mortgages, but I had a passion to be the best mortgage banker and broker that, you know, was in the state or, you know, um, you know, with my gym, having the best studio and and gym that there is. So for me, it was just the the, the shift of mindset of of where I needed to go be better at Mm -hmm. something. Uh, And I would imagine that probably came from your your history in sports, right? Yeah, definitely. I wish that I could properly convey to you how big of an opportunity this really, really is. And, and I know like when I use words like how might say the word really, like I just use it twice. Like, but it it's you are at such a defining moment in your life right now, being at this boot camp. And that may seem like super like cliche or just super almost like silly for me to say that like that we're you know we're at the training for a job it's not defining moment in my life but it can be and and it was for me because over the next three years like my entire life changed entire life and not just the money like i've made a lot of money doing this but like i'm just a better person now i'm a different person now um and like like looking back i i Every time I, I think back on it and think about those like early days and early months and that first year, I'm just like so grateful that I did because I don't know why. Like I don't, but I did, and everything changed so rapidly. And and that's my encouragement to you guys is that like literally the next six months, your life could 100% flip upside down in a good way. Um, and what you'll be able to do for not only yourself, but for your family and for and for, the, and for the people that we serve. Um, but it's such a fragile moment because we've seen in doing all these boot camps, I've seen people that have taken hold of that and they've just gone all in and they have accomplished that. And then I've seen those that didn't really. And the difference between those that did and those that didn't was like this. It was like this much effort. It was just like that little bit extra. It's like, it's that like ability to go 100% or 90. I say this often on webinars and things, and you might've heard it, but like, this is one of those careers where, where when you put 100% effort in, you get whatever result you possibly can fathom. But if you put in even 95% effort, you get nothing. You really get nothing. You'll fail and you won't be here long. You have to do everything by the book and the way that it's been taught because it's all been taught by trial and error from people that succeed. And and so it's always just that that tiny bit that makes the biggest difference in the world. And I'm so grateful for these guys up here, for everybody in the office, like you've already heard a million different things about them, but, but what I can tell you is from an integrity standpoint, what I knew was different about, especially Je- um, Joseph, Nathan, and Jeff, is that you could tell when it went from this being about what they could do and what they could generate in revenues and, and provide for their families to then it quickly became what they could provide other people and the opportunity that they could give other people to provide for their families. And when it became all about that, there's not very many organizations that can say that it's 100% about the people in the field that are doing the work every day. Those are the people that need to be rewarded. And you believe it, but with this, 
it's 100% that. I'm very fortunate to be in this office, usually only on Fridays, because I'm on the road still, four days a week. Uh, but when I'm here, like every single decision that's made, every single one of those arguments with JV is about that. It's about protecting the field. It's not about protecting them, but it's one and the same. But by, by them trying to protect to make sure that nothing happens to where the people that are out there putting in the work are ever affected negatively. Uh, and what they can produce and what they can generate year in and year out. And they've just proven that over and over, time and time again, uh, with me and with so many of us here. And that's very, very rare, like very rare. They are willing and able to take cuts on their side to protect the field, which is the ultimate um, example uh, of them living that out. And, and we're just extremely blessed to have them. I mean, there's, there's no better leadership within an organization on this planet. And I was telling Luigi, because he just got here uh, today, he's just getting to know everybody. Hi. I'm like, I'm like, I can't wait for you to see this culture that we have this weekend. And it was the perfect day for him to come in to see all this. I was like, because it can't be described. Friend.